<laughs> Hello everyone, it is Nancy Taylor here and welcome to this prenatal workout. It is a stretching workout. We have Pilates, we have yoga. I'm filming this at 38 weeks. Can we get a full body shot here? <laughs> 38 weeks here. I deliver my baby this week, so in three days I will be having my baby. Isn't that crazy? It's scheduled, so that's why I know. It's a scheduled C-section. We're going to be using a mat. We'll also be doing some standing exercises. I want you to feel amazing. This is great for your third trimester. We have hip openers. We have breathing exercises. It is low impact. You don't have to have shoes on. I do have mine on. I'll probably kick them off, but let's get started. It's only 20 minutes. That's all it takes to be a better version of yourself. So we're going to just start with arm circles. Again, I'll be going down to the floor for majority of the exercises. Okay, march in place. Every 30 seconds we switch exercises, take it forward. That's it. Big circles, big circles coming around. Good. How are you feeling? Feeling good? I know the last month usually it's like, are we there yet? But for some reason this month has felt too fast. Like that never happens. But um, if you notice, I'm in a new area. <laughs> You're gonna reach across here and then reach across here, okay? Just opening up that side, good. Reach across. So I'm at my parents' house. They built at the same time that my husband and I are building and they gotta move in just this last, I think they've been here two weeks. So they've just, We've gotten settled. This is their spare room and it's ginormous so I can film a workout. There's a bed over here. <laughs> it's awesome. Awesome, awesome. I'm grateful for the space to be able to film this workout with you. Okay, you're going to take this across your body. Now we're not twisting too much in the, in the tummy. I pivot this back leg as I, as I twist. I don't want to plant and then twist. I, I turn my legs as I twist. Just being aware of that center. We don't want to plant and then twist our our core. Okay, good. We're just getting your blood flowing. Again, these are low impact exercises. They truly are focused on hip openers. We have an entire series going through legs, arms. Um, it's all so good. Okay, we're going to squat it here. Feet are wide. Squat down and up. Now I'm going to move mine in a little bit, a little bit wider than shoulder width. Not too wide though. Good. My toes are slightly out. I don't have them in. I always want my knees a little bit pointed out. Now let's talk about your breathing. I inhale as I come down, exhale, draw in, and tighten here. So we're doing a deep core connection. Really practice connecting that pelvic floor because you're going to use this in your recovery. Good, I want you to pulse it at the bottom. Pulse, pulse. Yep, we can do these things. Low impact, good. That's it, we're gonna take it to a lunge series next and we'll add in those arms. Now, we aren't going to be do, we do um, like a plank position. We're avoiding those in this these final <laughs> days, final weeks. However, you can use a chair or a wall if you ever do go to a plank position. Okay, you're here at the front of your mat, you're gonna lunge back, left, and then come together. Now, if you need to hold on to something to assist in getting back up, that's just fine. No judgment here. <laughs> I uh, like bending over is the hardest. Can you guys, can you still tie your shoes? <laughs> can, you, can you still shave your legs? Yeah, I, I can't tell if I miss anything because I can't see it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, good enough. <laughs> That'll do. Good. You're going to hold this to your pose. Just breathe easy. Good. I'm going to show you here. I'm going to go as low because tummy is there. If you want your feet a little bit wider than the chair pose, just to make a little bit more room to go a little bit deeper, it's great. An isometric hold is going to build really good heat in that body. Good. You're about three minutes in, we have five minutes. Get that body warm, warm, warm. <laughs> then we'll be going down to the floor. Good. Make it to the left side of your workout area. You're going to tug your knee. I go a little bit wide, tug, tug. Then I plant that foot, hill, toe ball. Hill and then ball of my foot, then tug, tug, then here. Tug, tug, here. Now you're working balance as well as stretching that leg. So again, my leg is a little bit wider to make room for tummy, for baby, baby. Maybe you're having multiples. Whatever it may be, I'm excited for you. Good, now when you get to this left, 
your right hand side. We're gonna take that to a quad stretch. So I'm now pulling here, tug, tug, step, tug, tug. I love these dynamic exercises. Tug, tug, step, because you're moving while your body's warming up, while we're getting the blood flowing, while we're stretching. Tug, tug, step. We're almost to the end of these first five minutes. I want you to be feeling loose, feeling good. Good, shake it out. Cha, 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 my friends. It's that calf stretch, reach. Now, if you get nauseous at all by bending over, by having that introverted position, just don't go as deep or on the wall. I can just put my toe and get a calf stretch. I don't have to have the movement and I don't have to bend forward to get a calf stretch. That's what this is, is to stretch your calf. Here, cha-cha-cha. Here, cha-cha-cha. And time. Okay, you have 30 second break. Grab a drink, grab your mat. I'm gonna be showing you where we're going. We're going to those all fours. So here on the mat, we're going to start just with a basic cat cow. It's almost like a crunch that you, is, that you can do in your third trimester that is safe to do in pregnancy. So we'll be starting in 10 seconds. Again, make sure you have that drink. We're gonna plant those hands. Make sure I have a soft elbow, a slight bend. Three, we're going to pull, tuck this in as I exhale. Then inhale, drop my belly, lift my chin. Exhale, tuck. Inhale. Exhale, tuck. How you feeling? Inhale, lift. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tuck. Good, taking it to bird dog. You're going to extend your right arm, left leg, you're here. And then I meet, I, I'm not gonna touch my knee to my elbow. <laughs> if you're still able to, that's great. That's great. <laughs> extend, and I need to really connect in this deeper core, like, um, like I'm zipping up my pants. So I exhale as I pull in, and I connect. Good. Okay, plant that hand back down, leg is straight back. I'm going to tap it down and then bring it to the side and tap it down. Now staying connected. Breathing, building really good heat here. Now, if you're anything like me, your pelvis starts to hurt in this last <laughs> portion of your pregnancy. I was chasing the kids at the park and I felt like I bruised my pelvis. I was like, oh, I forgot, I can't do that. Bend that leg, you're here. Up, up. So it's really nice to take this time to stretch, uh, to loosen things up, to relax. It's just as important to tighten and connect your core as it is to relax and release. And we'll do some breathing here at the end. I'm so excited to send you guys on your way. Share, share, share when you have baby. Share how things are going. Good. Okay, you're going to extend and up. It's a four point move. My knee then comes to the side. I'm gonna show you this way. My knee then comes to the side and then I drop. Okay, shoot it back. One, two, three, and four. That's it. One, two, three, and four. Good. Slight bend in your elbows. Up, connect that core. Not just relaxing, but I'm not gripping or squeezing my abs. I'm just connecting from the core. Up. Good, we're gonna go to the other side. Remember that bird dog, extend, and then knee to elbow, okay? Extend, I'm gonna flip around so you can see it a little bit better. Extend, knee to elbow, good. Inhale, exhale. My inhale, my rib cage goes wide. Exhale, connect, pull in. Plant that hand down, foot is straight out. I tap straight down, I lift it up, and I tap to the side. Lift it up, tap. If you need to go to your elbow at any time, that's just fine. If you need to take a break at any time, you take your break, just make sure you're breathing, you're getting oxygen through your body, you're feeling good. If you feel lightheaded at any moment, then take a break, sit up, grab a drink, walk around. <sighs> that's it. Good, bend that leg here, flex, 
up, up. Now to focus again here, zip, hug, hug the baby. Working those, it's your transverse abdominals that we're going to focus on post, post baby. So after baby, we have our postnatal series. Will we work on that deep core? We'll, we'll work on your breathing. What do you do in that six weeks when you're not approved to work out? You, you do what you feel comfortable with, but it's breathing, it's connecting, it's allowing your body to heal. Four point move, so it's down here. It's okay to take that time off. I have a really hard time recovering because I want to get going right away, but I've come to find that you can injure yourself further if you don't give your body the time it needs to heal. And so it's breathing, it's eating foods that are nutrient dense, water, making sure that you're taking care of that baby and getting your sleep, resting, recovering. I start walking first, that's kind of my leeway into everything. We're gonna sit back to child's pose, hips come um, wide, knees come wide, sit back. Good, 30 seconds here. Drop your forehead down to the mat. So you have to make sure you're approved by your doctor to get back into working out. Um, I start slow, we start with a lot of um, deep core, we start with um, just low impact and then we grow from there. Everybody is different. Uh, good. Walk it over to me. Just 30 more seconds. And we'll be moving into our third block. We have four blocks. Walk it over to the far wall. Good. We're going to do our side series, and then we're going to do a lot of hip openers in our final and fourth block. So make it onto your left-hand side. You can slightly pike here, it's a slight pike. I have my hand here, or I can even rest my head all the way down. You see, I'm looking right here, it's because that's where my workout is written. I'm gonna turn my top foot towards the sky, I'm going to kick it up, and then control it down. Exhale. Have you been having contractions? That's what everyone keeps asking me. Are you having contractions? No. So after, this is my third baby. I had my first baby on her due date. My second baby, he was, I went into labor on his due date. Had him the next day. So, so turn that leg, face me. Pulse here, about hip width height. Good. We have four exercises on each side. Good. That's it. And with this baby, I don't know, I just am like, oh, I would go into labor around the due date. So my C-section is scheduled for 39 weeks. Why am I having a C-section? I had placenta accreta with my second, so I delivered him vaginally, and then I had to have a C-section. I couldn't get my placenta out, hot potato. I tap two here, I kick it up, and I tap two here. You can kick it up a little bit higher if you're feeling okay in the pelvis. If it's feeling a little bit sore, don't kick it as high. And I'm feeling a little sore, so I'm not gonna kick it as high. So they are doing a scheduled C-section just to um, avoid too much, uh, I guess, stress on the uterus because I have a kind of thinner wall from that placenta accreta. I'm so grateful that they were able to keep my uterus. <laughs> I thought I was gonna lose it on my second baby. Here, lift this bottom leg which I feel very blessed to be able to do. I was having a bad attitude about having a C-section, like why, why can't I just try the other one? And then I thought, you know what, that's really selfish. Um, if there was anything that could cause, I don't know, just if it's safer to do it this route, then I will go this route. I'm very much, I get an epidural, but I love the natural, like, <laughs> I don't want it to be scheduled or forced or planned, I just, yeah. That's the part I'm having a hard time with, but if baby's safer, I'm willing to do anything. All right, relax that leg. We're gonna to go to clam, so bend both legs. You're going to open up this top leg. Good, and then drop it down. This is really great. We'll do this a lot too in your postnatal series, working um, back into strengthening those hips. Your pelvis will expand, so we'll, we'll um, work on hip openers, inner outer thigh work, deep core work, this is how I fell in love with Pilates, was postnatal, it truly was. And I love the exercises for that reason. Good, okay, you're gonna press up from the side. Go ahead and, and just open up your hips here, just a quick mermaid pose, and then come back down, good. And lift those hips up, and come back down. Good, lift those hips up, and come back down. Good, lift up, and down. We're gonna swivel those hips over to the other side in five seconds. Four, three, two, and time. <laughs> Do
Do you forget that you have a belly and have a hard time sitting up like I do? <laughs> I'll try and get up and I'm like, oh, I know that that looks funny. Turn your top leg. I always come to my side. I don't want to do a sit up of anything. <laughs> Kick that leg up, control it down, control it up, control it down, up and down. That's it. Up and down two time turn that foot flex that foot lift it up control it down lift it up control it down that's it connecting here I'm not just relaxing I have a stable firm foundation here on the upper half really hugging that baby can't wait to love on the baby hopefully you get to hold your baby love on your baby lots and lots and lots maybe it's babies <laughs> you're all rock star moms that's it. Good. Hot potato. Tap in the front. Tap, tap. Lift it up. Tap, tap. Lift it up. Tap, tap. Here. Tap. Good. Tap, tap. If you can, you can hit, kick it a little bit higher. Just turn that leg towards the sky when you do. Click it up and tap, tap. Good. I'm going to keep mine pretty low. Just any soreness in that pelvis. Good. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. That's it. Bring that leg in. We're gonna work that inner thigh on the bottom leg. You're gonna lift and lower. Again, if your pelvis is feeling weak at any point, if this is straining it too much, then uh, don't do the exercise. Really, truly listen to your body. You are the most important part of this exercise because you know how it feels. You know how you feel inside. And so pay attention to that. Be extra in tune with your body at this time. And, and I'm sure you already are. <laughs> was, that, was that a contraction? <laughs> <laughs> Especially on your first one, you don't know what to expect. <laughs> All right, we're gonna bend those legs, take it to clam, lift this leg up. Good. Lift it up. And down, lift up. There's variations that we can do in the clam as well. If you're feeling extra advanced, you can kick that leg. I'm just gonna keep it here, keeping it simple today. That's it. Good. Okay, go ahead and push up. Ah, we're gonna do that mermaid pose. Plant that hand, lift those hips back, and then come and rest that hand back down here. When I was little, <laughs> so I would watch my mom do her exercise tape. She would do exercises in the morning, and I'd sit on the couch and watch her. And then she would do Windsor Pilates. Do you remember that? And I remember doing them with her. And it was like so technical. <laughs> For a little child, I was like, and my palm touches. <laughs> I still remember doing them though with her. So good. All right, guys, we're going to set it back to child's pose here. You have a 30 second break here in this pose. Again, another hip opener. You can take those knees wide. And that's it. Now we're working and we're moving into, I have some arm work here, but mostly hip openers. So we're really focusing on stretching out those hips, getting them ready to deliver baby. Maybe you're like me and you're having a C-section. It's just nice to have that stretch as your body naturally is expanding. All right, so you're going to come to a push-up. I keep my hips high, it's a tricep push-up. I hug here and then I press up, okay? That's 30 seconds here in this push-up position, connect. Deep core, good, that's it, two, and we're not at two, we're at much more, <laughs> good, take those hips in if I start to arch with the weight in the front, that's it, okay, you're going to take it back one more time, take it back to that child's pose, and then you're going to push up, and then press back to child's pose, okay? I move my hips a little bit, my knees a little bit wider so I could really sit back into that position. So I'm here, I come up, sit back here, hug those elbows to the rib cage. That's it. I love the quote that like the last month of pregnancy, there's 5,100 days, like so many days in it. I want you to come up to a standing position. So I'm gonna bring this leg up, Come standing. We're going to do a wide squat. My knees are wide, my toes are wide. I'm going to come down here, and maybe I want to inchworm a little bit closer just to what feels comfortable. I'm pushing, pressing out here, opening up those hips. Again, if you need to hold on to something, or maybe your heels don't go flat, um, you do have relaxant in your body. You are a little bit more flexible at this point. I don't want you to 
go that much further because of that. Um, but just be aware of that. Okay, come to a standing position. We're gonna come back down. Good, should feel nice. Kind of a standing position. I don't wanna over bend those knees. If, if, if these deep knee bends bother your knees, if you have any knee issues, I wouldn't go this low in your squat. Just keep it up higher and stand. Good, we're gonna come down to the floor. So just go ahead and step one leg out and bring this leg in. We're gonna cartwheel your hands over to that left hand side. Ah, oh, feels so good on that side. Yep, we're getting to those stretches here at the tail end of our workout. We're about at 20 minutes. <laughs> but it went by so fast. It was so fast for me. I hope it was quick for you. We had great stretching, great Pilates, some yoga exercises in there. Go ahead and bring that foot in. Every 30 seconds we were changing exercises. Um, our rest time was child's pose. It was an active rest, a stretching rest. <sighs> Again, I just, I love how you feel after doing these because your body just feels more in alignment. It feels better. Good, good, good. That's it. Hold it on that side. I'm gonna move my, my laptop went a little bit dark. <laughs> good. Take it to a butterfly pose. So if you come together, I turn the bottom of my feet a little bit towards the sky and that will open up, drop my knees here. I'm gonna bend forward to where it feels comfortable. <sighs> Can you hear my kids out there? They're playing with my parents. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, we're like, it. so the baby, we're, <laughs> Again, building our house. So we're in my husband's parents' basement. <laughs> they just got back from a, a, an LDS mission. And so um, I want you to take those legs st straight forward, have them a little bit separated so I can get a good hamstring stretch here, reaching for those toes, bending forward. Good. And so we didn't know which would come first, the baby or the house, but the baby's coming first, so we're bringing a baby to their house. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so sorry. You're gonna have a newborn in your basement for a week or two. <laughs> but we are totally flexible. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys, I want you to sit here. You can bend those legs. We're gonna inhale, the ribs go wide. Exhale, draw in. You can even sit on a pillow so you can feel this, like you're grabbing that pillow. So grab it with that pelvic floor. Connect, I hug here, so I first zip, then I hug here. Stay connected, take three breaths. Last one. Release. Okay, inhale. Wide, exhale, draw in. Connect, connect. Stay connected. Inhale as you're connected. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, relax. If you have a, um, that's all the breathing will do, you can continue doing that each day if you're able to. If you have an exercise ball, I really love this. You put your arms on it and bend back. If you don't have one, you can also do it here. I keep my hips high, my arms come here. It's going to open up your chest. Hmm. Good. You hear my family singing. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're playing the piano and singing. I don't know what you can hear. Just enjoy the, the beautiful background noise. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and come to a standing position. Make sure you give me a high five. Good luck. I hope everything goes well. If it doesn't go according to plan, just be flexible. Um, all we want is a healthy and happy baby. And I, and I pray and hope for that for you. Um, I know that you're returning that favor for me. So thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. And make sure you check out our postnatal series. Also, I have this entire series linked below. So make sure you check the description box for all those details. Good luck. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.